Do you need to create multiple folders at once on your PC? In this video, you will see three ways to create multiple folders at once in your Windows 11 or 10. Use the command prompt to create multiple folders at once. In this first method, we will be using a command line utility called Command Prompt in Windows. Typically, administrators use it to make advanced level changes throughout the system. You can enter text-based commands to automate a bunch of tasks. Don't worry, it's not that complicated. We are going to explain everything in details so that you can easily work on the command prompt. Click on the Start menu, search for Command Prompt. Now right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. Now you will see the UAC prompt. Click on Yes here. Now you will see the command prompt. Here you can see that the command prompt is at the location of C Drive, Windows, and System32 folder. You need to go to the location where you want to create folders. To go to the location, you need to type cd space slash d space, then the address of the folder. If you find trouble in writing the address, you can simply open the folder in File Explorer. Click here, then you can copy the address. Now paste the address in the command prompt. Now hit enter. You will reach the location where you want to create the folders. Now type md, which stands for make directory. Space, then type the folder name one by one. Once you do that, press enter. All the folders will be created in your location. If you want to create subfolders, put a backslash just after the folder name and type the subfolder name without any space. If for some reason using the command prompt does not work for you, you can use Windows PowerShell to perform the same steps. There are only small changes in the commands. Right-click on the Start menu and select Terminal Admin. Click Yes in the UAC pop-up. Now you need to change the location. Type CD space then the address where you want to create folders. Press enter. To create the folders, type md space quotation mark, then the name of the folder, close the quotation mark, put a comma, and now second folder name in the quotes, and so on. Hit enter, and you are good to go. Use the notepad. Yes, you can create folders using notepad. Well, not actually notepad, it is through batch file, but we will use notepad to write the commands that batch file will use. Notepad and batch files cannot just create folders, but perform more technical operations. Click on the Start menu and type Notepad. Open it. In the first line of your document, type at symbol, then type echo space off, then press enter to reach to a new line. Then here type md space, first folder name in the quotes, put a space and the second folder name in the quotes, and so on. Click on the File menu, then select Save As. Here choose the location where you want to create the folders. Select all files from here. Name the folder as you like, then put a dot and BAT. Click on Save button. Now close the notepad. Go to the folder where you saved your batch file. Double click on it and it will create the folders. If you want to create subfolders, you can put a backslash after the folder name and then without any space type, the name of subfolder in quotes. Use a third-party application. And last but not least, if you think using command prompt and notepad is too time-consuming, you can try using a third-party application. There are several apps to create multiple folders, such as Text2 folders, Soboloft, Folder Frenzy, etc. They are easy to use and less complicated. You can try them and create multiple folders at once. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below. And share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.